How's it going guys? Uh, again, sorry for not being able to upload as much as I usually can. Um, college, as you guys know, finals and all that stuff. Um, very difficult to uh, kind of balance both things. So, um, just, well, we're back now. And uh, again, it's been a while since I played this game. So, I know we haven't been able to win lately. That's the biggest problem. Um, and we still don't have a rival, which I actually take somewhat, I take pride in that we don't have a rival yet. Um, even though I feel like we should. Uh, but just in the standings, we're just not doing that well. Um, Justin Allgaier has three wins. Eric Jones has two. They have more playoff points than us. William Byron has two, but also has 16 playoff points. So um, we just need to do a little bit better, and uh, hopefully we can do that. These are the settings, if you guys don't remember. Um, so let's move on from that. And now the next race we are going to is New Hampshire. Now, um, I don't know how I'm going to do here, so I'm going to have to practice a little bit. And then I think the next race will also be an Xfinity race as well, since... We don't have a cup ride um, for this week or next week, probably. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting. Going to practice here a little bit. Try to get back in the group of things, and we'll see how we do. Qualified. Not Whoa. <laughs> That's our best qualifying effort of the season. That is some good news. All right. P19. Nice way to get back into this. Let's go. All right. We got the little sunset uh, saturated kind of look here. Everything looks so orange. Green flag is out. Um, and let's see what we can do. Stay, uh, four laps in stage one. Uh, so let's try to, try to be a little bit careful here. Now that we have the track position pretty early on, I'm expecting a pretty good car. Um, and I set this thing up hopefully to be a little bit loose. That way it could be better on um, in the long run because usually in the long runs I get too tight. So this seems going to be a little bit loose at the beginning. But let's see if we can make up a couple of spots as we go all the way down below the yellow line for some reason. Don't know what I'm doing there. Just trying to get back into the group of things. But uh, let's see if we get underneath Harvick and... The car seems like it's rotating in the corners and getting a nice drive off already after one lap, so this thing feels pretty good. I think we'll be able to get into the stage points as we get near the apron again. Going to slide up with Cole Custer and get underneath Bubba as well. This thing really turns from middle off, so we're doing a very good job right now. And I'm actually excited to have a fast car. I haven't had one in a while in this game, I think, for, for a long time. The last time it's been in a video where we had a fast car and... I uh, actually won. I don't even remember. Someone's got to re remind me wh uh, what video or what race that was. But this is uh, a good start. P10, only two laps to go in stage one underneath Brad Keselowski. And now we just got to be a little bit patient because there's nowhere to really go. Don't want to wreck anyone. So we just have to be, be patient here. Try to get underneath Hemrick if we can, but we're not going to be able to. We're going to clear Keselowski. And now we're in P9. A nice entrance in a turn three there. That was beautiful. Nice and easy on the brakes, kind of dragging it. And that way we could get underneath Almirola. We're going to be three wide with Almirola and Reed. We're going to try to clear Almirola. We barely do. I mean, I mean barely. That was very, very close. It uh, looks like William Byron is the leader. Oh, no, that's Elliot Sadler. Elliot Sadler is the leader and pulling away. And we can try to get Daniel Suarez and Eric Jones here. How much fuel do we have? We have 15 laps of fuel. Got taken a note, so we about 18 laps uh, with a full tank. Just put that in mind, uh, just so we can use fuel strategy uh, later on in the race. We are going to finish stage one in fifth place. That's where it looks like we're going to be. Yep, fifth place it is. That is the best stage one we've had in a while. My goodness. 22 laps remaining in the race with 15 laps of fuel. We're not going to pit. We're going to stay out, and it looks like everyone else stayed out. We will pit at the end of stage two though, because that's what it looks like we're going to have to do. But Let's see if we can get to the lead and if we have the fastest car here. If we do, we got to win this race. I mean, we cannot throw away this opportunity. Green flag is back out. We get a good restart. And we're going to try to go to the bottom of Eric Jones if we can. Make it three wide, but the car did not really stick there. Now we're four wide with Almirola below us. Suarez and Ty Dillon above us. Going to have to be very careful here. And we know a little bit of contact, but not much. And we are all clear of those guys on the two above us. So now we go to P3, driving in deep in turn three. That was a hell of a move by Almirola to go three wide down there. But looks like uh, the car is getting a little bit tight now. Like, I worried later on in the run it, it gets a little bit tight. But I still, think we, I still think we have a fast enough car to go battle Elliott Sadler. Um, so let's see if we could do that. Get above Eric Jones. Hopefully can't really do it. We have to clear Almirola. He's kind of causing us to not run the line we want to right now as we're still on the top of him so we're gonna drive in we're gonna drive it in deep here in turn three and try to cut to the bottom just like that so we get that preferred lane there we go slide up a little bit get back on the throttle we're gonna be able to clear Eric Jones 
And now we're only one spot away. If we could get a stage win, that's also another playoff point, which is very important right now. Three laps to go in stage two. Let's see if we get around Sadler without wrecking him. Don't want to do that. I'm going to try to give him a tap. I don't think I ever did. And yeah, we're right on that bumper. But he gets a good run coming out of two. We're going to try to pull a slide job here entering turn three. We're going to drive it in very deep. There we go. And get on the brakes and slide up. Park the car right in the middle of the lane. And we've made the pass. Perfect slide job move. Let's pull away and get the stage one. End of stage two. We win it. And we have a pretty good car. So now the pit strategy is going to come around. And I think I know what I want to do. We just have to see how many laps uh, we have left in the race. I think it's probably around 18 or 7. Oh, well, I, I wasn't able to see. But um, we're going to take one can of fuel, two tires, and no repairing the damage. And that should be good enough to keep us um, near the front. We lose four spots, but that's okay. We're, st <laughs> we're still up here. I don't know why we lost four spots. I mean, it, but two tires, four, uh, one can of fuel. That's what we needed. Uh, let's check the fuel. We have 18 laps, and we have 13 laps left in the race. Maybe we could have taken a little bit less fuel, but they didn't want to take that risk. Uh, 13 laps to get back up to the front. I think these guys in front of us have two tires as well, so... Um, it should be an even race. Don't get a great restart, though. Three wide in the middle with Custer and Almarola. Going to try driving a deep in turn three like we have been. Avoid Blake Cook. And that's going to... Oh, a little bit of contact. And there we go. And we're going to try to use Daniel Hemrick up a little bit. And sorry, Hemrick. Almost put him in the wall there. Almost put a little Chase Elliott move. Whew. And let's go get Eric Jones. We're going to try this outside move. Pinch him down. Don't let him come up. Don't let him come up. Get a nice run coming off the corner. And we clear him. All right. Elliot Sadler, it's just a matter of time. About 10 laps to go or 11 laps to go. Here's Elliot. We're going to try and get underneath him here. But we're not able to. The car's a little bit tight and we get in the wall a little bit. But it's fine. Not too much damage. We'll be fine. 11 laps to go. A nice run coming out of four. That's what we needed. And now we're going to try to pull off that slide job move that works very well. Here we go. Oh, I hit him. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Sadler. Well, that didn't work out. Because I hit him, it stalled all my momentum. It caused a little dent in the left rear of his car there. Do we have damage? A little bit. Um, and we're a little bit too far back, I think, to try it again. But YOLO, you only live once. And that is the dirtiest slide job you could possibly ever pull off. But I think we have the preferred lane now. And we're going to be on the outside here. Going to try and just keep him down a little bit. And we're going to drive it in very deep into turn one. And clear him. There we go. Let's just make sure he doesn't get back below us. Don't get back below us. There we go. We're clear. Woo! That was a really dirty move. <laughs> but I'll do anything to uh, get a race win right now. We have, I think, eight laps to go. We should be able to pull away here. Let's go get a win. Coming out of turn four, we have a 1.4 second lead on Sadler. It won't matter. We finally win a race in the Xfinity Series, our third win of the season. And I know it's our third win of the season. I said finally, but still, it's been a long time since we've won a race in this series. Oh, man, we really, 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 really needed that. Finally get some momentum back to us, um, and let's move on. Elliot Sadler finished the second. We also got a stage win in there, so we have... Six playoff points that come out come out of this race. Didn't really see much of William Byron the entire race. He finished somewhere in the top ten, um, but he was not really involved. There he is in sixth. Um, saw a lot of Eric Almirola. We raced him a lot, but whoo! All right, there we go. Over five million in the bank. Let's move on. Now this should be an interesting race. I don't know if we're gonna do very well here. It's gonna be Indianapolis, but the problem is straightaway speed. I have no clue how we're gonna do this. Is it's gonna be hard, but. I don't know. We'll see. Let's check the rivals real quick, just in case we have any. Nope, not yet. I still haven't really run into Ryan Reed, um, so not yet. And the standings, you can see we're in 10th, but we have 16 playoff points, equal with William Byron, equal with Eric Jones. Um, all guys one behind, and I think uh, those are the only guys that are in like the double digits. So it's going to be interesting. Let's see what we can do at uh, Indianapolis. Hopefully, just hopefully, we have a decent car. I'm expecting to be back in the 32nd area. Oh, 27th. Okay, not terrible. Um, hopefully we do well in the race. Let's go. I'm expecting the stages to be incredibly short, maybe only two laps. Green flag is out. Let's see what stage one is. It's two laps. That's what I thought. Okay, so let's go to work 
pretty quick here and see if we could do anything. We're going to be in the throttle a lot here, and that's what worries me is that uh, I just don't know how much speed we have. But we're going to have to be in the draft a lot and hopefully uh, just make up some ground. Logano comes right down on us and stalls us out a little bit. And uh, that's not going to help. The frame rate's dropping a little bit, so I need to turn off the mirror. I know you guys probably can't see it in the video because I have the video running at 60 frames, but uh, playing it right now, the frame rate is dropping a little bit with the mirror on, and I can't really go anywhere. This is a little bit tougher than I thought it would be. Okay, uh, back into where are we? Uh, 30th. Not good. Okay, so let's be patient here. Let's get underneath. Uh, who is that? I can't tell. I don't know who's in the 52, but. Gotta stay in the draft here, and we're holding our own at the moment. How much fuel do we have? We have nine laps of fuel. Holding our own, but once we get out of the draft, it's kind of kind of screwed. We gotta get around Armstrong a little bit, if we can. We have to go up to the high side maybe to get around these guys, because we can't really go anywhere. It's not unusual to have an issue with passing at Indianapolis. Usually, you can never pass here, so it makes sense. But we just need a little bit more speed right now. We're kind of struggling. See, the high side works when I'm not being held up by anyone, so we need we need the high side to kind of like filter out some cars. Um, that way we could get going. Going to give the four a tap of Chastain, and we're going to be, looks like, 25th or 26th at the end of this stage. We're creeping into 25th. We're going to get 25th right before the 10th place car comes through. We're probably going to stay out here, um, and we have to see how many laps are left in the race. 11, so... Actually, pitting here could be a good idea, and I'm going to pit because that way we can make it on fuel till the end. So we're just going to take, uh, you know, we're going to be last anyway. So four tires and uh, just, uh, let's see, take the wedge down a little bit, except that, whew, just in time. Okay, so we're the only car who pitted, but that's because we're playing a strategy game here. I think we can make it on fuel from here to the end of the race, and I think everyone else will have to pit, so... Playing a little bit of strategy to get up to the front, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Estimated laps 10, with the amount of laps left. Uh, well, in stage 2, there's 2, but um, we should have only about 9 or 10 laps left in the race, so we should be able to make it on fuel here. Hopefully it all plays out. Right now, there's real no point in passing anyone. We just gotta be very patient. Yeah, I say that, but my racing instinct kinks in, kicks in, and I just want to, uh, almost said kinks. That's not the word I want to use. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, racing instinct kick, kicks in. Almost said it again. And, you know, we want to pass some cars. The car is pretty good. Um, I just don't know how it's going to handle all the way up there towards the front. We're going to be towards the front at the beginning of the final stage. So, hopefully it's fast enough. But, I don't know. It should be interesting. And, actually, we have to save our tires a little bit. So, we might not want to drive too hard here. Just so we don't wear out the tires. I'm going to take it a little bit easy. And we'll just chill here around 34th or 33rd and uh, move on to the final stage. All right, 31st. Now, the strategy game comes in. Who will pit and who will stay out? Hopefully everyone pits, and they are. We have enough fuel to go to the end of the race, so we stay out, and we take the lead. That is the strategy game. We pulled it off, and now we have to see if we can hold it off. And I don't I don't think being the leader we, we're fast enough, but maybe if we get in second and third, get in the draft, Hopefully we can be fast enough. I don't know, but seven laps to go. We have enough fuel. Hopefully. Yep, we do. We have enough fuel. Let's see what we can do. It's going to be way too hard to block both lanes, so we're just going to have to stay on the bottom here. And once we can get in the draft, you know, that's what we're going to have to do. A little bit of contact with William Byron. Didn't want that. Have to get back up here. Going to block Elliot Sadler. Get back in the draft here. Let Ty Dillon go. And now that we're in the draft, I think we will be fine. So this is where we can test out our speed. And uh, hopefully we just keep in touch with the leaders. So Ty Dillon, let's see if we can get around him. Hopefully he stays high. He won't. So we're just going to stay behind these guys. Elliot Sadler's peaking, but able to get a good run through three and four. Let's get in the draft of Ryan Reed real quick. And see, as long as we're in the draft, we can maintain. We're not really able to gain with these guys, but we're able to maintain. I think we are a little bit faster through the corners. So hopefully it all works out. We're going to try to get underneath Ty Dillon, give him a little bit of a tap. We actually gave him a little bit of a shot there. And he got uh, ahead of us a little bit. But this is good news. We're able to hold on. Now we just got to get around these guys. Let's see if we get underneath Dylan now. Nope, he blocks us. And that's going to hurt us again. The, they, the, the, it's weird. The two lap fresher tires actually makes a pretty big difference. I'm not really able to get through the corners like I want to. We have to stay behind Dylan here. I know we have a little bit of a run, but we can't pull out or else. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to try it. Oh, boy. 
three wide, three wide, and it worked. We got Ryan Reed. Now we have to stay behind Ty Dillon here and hopefully just not lose too much ground. Stay behind him. Stay behind him. All right. And again, we're going to have to stay behind him. This is the only way we can kind of keep up. The leaders are starting to pull away, so I don't know if we will win the race, but we will be able to get a good finish here. Got to just keep trying. Hopefully, caution comes out, bunches us back up together. That way, I can get up towards there. Got to be careful. Got any Ty Dillon, and he's side drafting us. That pulled us back a little bit, but we should be able to clear him here, and we do. Now, I can't pass Reddick. That's the problem because we're too far away. So we're gonna have to try to shove Reddick up towards Blake Cook. That's our only chance, honestly. How many laps do we have left? We have four to go. You can see the car is starting to get a little bit tight now as Ryan Reed gets below us. I think he's one hit away from us being his rival, so uh, that's going to be interesting, but he is able to pull away. Now the tires are starting to wear out a little bit, and we're losing a little bit of ground. The strategy almost worked, but we just don't have a fast enough car. I got blocked tied, though. Two laps to go. We have a run on Ryan Reed. Can't really do anything with it. Let's try it here. Get underneath him, but we can't get back in the throttle quick enough, and Sadler's not really pressuring us, so so we could try it again in turn two. He's sliding up a little bit, but we're going to have to get behind him. I think we could get around him in three and four. And we're going to have to time and move very nicely to get back in this top five with two laps to go. Uh, we're going to have to set it up in three and then try to pass him in four. That's what's going to have to happen. We have to get to the bottom here. And that is very nice there. Now we should be able to get him in three and four, or in turn four, because we're much faster in four. And we should get him. No, we don't. Ryan Reed is a fast car. Jesus. Uh, let's try to side draft him a little bit. He's probably going to become our rival here. And we got him pulled back. That worked. But eh, we're, <laughs> we're still pulling him back. And we finally are able to get side by side again. Reddick, I need your draft, please. Just stay right there. Reddick is the only reason why we're still by side by side Ryan Reed. Uh, if he wasn't in front of us, we'd, he'd already pass us by now. But we're going to try to keep Ryan Reed with us and he's gonna pass us again this is the white flag lap we have one lap of fuel left so we're right on the edge but we have one more shot at this Elliot Sadler's right behind us I don't think we can do anything with it we just don't have enough speed in the car but we're gonna try one more time I want that top five here we come we're gonna get a nice run here but we need something to do with it and we don't have the horsepower so it's gonna be P6 unfortunately but I mean I think that's the best we could possibly do with the car like you can't win a race with a 30th place car so that's really the best we could do it was a good race I think we did well Daniel Suarez wins the race that's a interesting one he usually doesn't have the fastest car in these races but he's able to win at the brickyard keeping the win away from William Byron which I'm happy with because Byron's one of our rivals so that was a, a solid race, you know, we want to win, but I think if we gain momentum, we haven't had the momentum boost in a while. If we gain that, I think we'll be able to win more races. Uh, that's a solid finish, and maybe we'll get it here very soon. Iowa will be the next race. We still don't have a cup ride. Haven't been, hasn't uh, had one in a while, but that is it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We finally have a rival in Ryan Reed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Even if I try, even if I wanted to, and I can't change. Even if I try, my love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm.